Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. I have to talk to you about drip today. I just feel it. I feel like it's time to talk about it again. But I'm not going to do a tutorial. I, you can't resist drip. It's, this is an insane package. And I'm not going to give you, like the last video I did myself on drip was like the pros and cons. Like how way out do I want to get involved in this? And what I can't figure out is why isn't everybody in this? I think it's almost a crime to not be involved in it. So let's talk about, for a couple minutes, the type of people who are in drip, or possibly even the type of people who aren't in drip. I don't know if you're in drip, and if you're watching this and you're in drip, I thank you for your support. You're an absolute stud. If you're not in drip and you're watching this, you're curious and you wanna know. So let me figure out if I know what type of person you are. All right, let's talk about this. Now, before I get into this, before I get into whatever my little weird argument is, if you can press like for me, I would appreciate that. If you can subscribe, if you haven't, that would be just absolutely lovely. All right. Okay, you approach crypto and you say, I'm a cryptocurrency investor. I know going in that there's a lot of risk I have to assume. So you look at this project and you read through the white paper. We read through the white paper before. It's not very complicated. It's a complex package, but the white paper isn't extremely complex. You get 1% of the money you deposit every day. 100,000 drip, I think, is the maximum payout. So fine, if you get to 100,000 drip, then you just start a new account in another wallet and go again. So you can keep doing that. So there literally is no top to it. You just, if you put in one drip, that's the minimum, right? One drip. Let's look at uh let's look at drip real quick and see what's the swap right now. Okay, drip's 132 bucks. 132.76. There you go. So tack on make it 150. That's the minimum you can come in the drip with. You come in with 150 bucks, you're in the program. That's it. You're gonna start getting a dollar fifty every day. Or whatever it is after it's over, after the taxes, and all that sort of thing. So say you get like a dollar and a quarter a day. You're just gonna start getting that every day. Now, if you wanna take that, you can take it. If you wanna re put it back into the, the package, which the term for that is rehydrating. If you wanna put it back into the contract, that's essentially compounding. Then every day you put that in. And the next day you get 1% off the new amount. This is a very simple concept. But whenever you have a package that booms like this and everybody gets into it, then it immediately, as soon as it gets successful, all the takeoff packages start, all the copycat packages start. Everybody's trying to do what Drip is doing, but 1%, which is outstanding returns, 365%, 3.65X of your money in one year. That's amazing. But there's a lot of tax structure built into that. You they tax you money when you put it in, they tax you when you take it out. Okay, so it's risky, but it's very stable and it's very sustainable. So if you're the type of person, like I'm trying to think, what type of people are involved in this? Who would just jump on a package that when you put your money in, you can't take it back out? It's, it's gone, you, you lost it. Now you're earning off it every day. You're, the credit for it stays there and you make money based on what you put in, but you can't take your money back out. And you get 1% a day. So who who would do that kind of stuff? Is it somebody smart? Yeah, but not necessarily um, that somebody not smart couldn't do it. But yeah, you understand delay gratification. You understand that you're staking money. And when you stake, you're naturally thinking years away, I'm putting this money away for 10 years. Maybe my kid's college fund is something or my retirement account. This is that, it's just not that long a process. And the payments are super fast and they come super often. So who would think, like the person who would get in here says either, hey, this is crypto, it's all risk. The first rule of risk is don't gamble what you can't afford to lose, right? So I'll do that. Okay, I can afford to do 150. If I lose it, what's gonna happen? What's, what's the best that can happen? Oh, okay, it gets big. So you don't avoid what you can't afford to lose. You always assume there's gonna be some risk. If you got risk anyway in crypto, 
If you have risk anyway in an investment package, why wouldn't you allocate some of your investment package to a package like this, which is paying you 3.65 times your money over the course of a year if you don't do anything except let it build? It gets dramatically higher with compounding and you're able to compound that 1% every day. And that turns into a man it's over 20 times your money. I can't even remember what the actual figure is. So if you're gonna assume some risk, why wouldn't you look for the big payoff? You know, that's the type of people who are investing in this kind of thing. People who can see that, there's some people who are just straight gamblers and they don't care how much they lose, but they're, they're looking at the upside. See, they're positive looking people. If you're the negative kind of person, you're looking for reasons to say no and reasons to not start. I, you're looking for problems. See, if you're looking for problems, you can't find them here. If you're looking for solutions, this is the solution. So it, you have to be a solutions-based person, a results-based person. If you just look at everything like, I, I can't do that, I don't trust this, I think this person is bad, this could be a rug pull, this could, all this stuff could be wrong. Those type of people, if they never come around, they're losing big on these kind of things. And then they're gonna look at this later and say, man, I had a chance to get into this in January. That damn Spencer's Crypto Vibe even talked about it. <laughs> I could have gotten this and you didn't. Now, if you're deciding and you're just not convinced yet and you have to convince yourself and you're just a little late to the party, meaning you're just not in now, you're definitely not late to the party. I can show you um, you're not late to the party yet. But if it takes you a little bit of convincing and then you get in, you lost a little ground. I'm not gonna lie to you. You, you could have been compounding your money. Uh, drip is down. Like this is 131 now. Drip at his house was going, it was approaching $200 fast. I think it was over 170, 180. So it's having a little pullback. This is a tremendous time to get in. Any kind of crypto investing you get in, you're waiting for the pullback. You don't want to jump in on the pump. This is the time to get in. So if you put $10,000 in, compound those hundred bucks every day until you get your 10,000, take it out. And now you, you, you're you still at 10 grand, still making a hundred a day. And then you can go ahead and, and your gravy at that point, everything's extra. Now you might as well just ride it up to the stratosphere and see where you can get. See, that's the type of people who take advantage of this stuff. If you're, it's, the question isn't, do I want to get in? The question is, how fast do I need to get out to make myself comfortable? And that's the thing here, you don't need to get out. You can just cash out enough to pay yourself back and get your initial funds back and you're still in the game. And you can keep working this and you don't. You can stop hydrating, stop paying little gas fees and just let your money stack up for the whole year and you can cash out of that and then you're done done. You rehydrate once and the clock restarts. You got 365 more days to compound. What's it, six months old? There's new utilities coming all the time. That's another thing. They built the Manor Farm. They ran that for a little bit, and then I think they stopped that one. I'm not sure. Now they got the Animal Farm kicking. So you can build liquidity pairs with a whole bunch of different coins on the Binance Smart Chain, and you can stake. You can you can uh, put your liquidity out there and start earning money that can earn you more drip. You can. If this is a hustle, you wouldn't have other utilities that you can run off of drip that, that work with drip in conjunction with drip. So it's going to be around. The plan is here. You're getting charged 10%. When you put money in, you're getting charged 10% when you take it out. These are minimums. There's a lot of other little things. You get charged 5% when you rehydrate, when you recompound your money. Incentive. 5% versus 10%. Why not put it back in? I get charged less to put it back in. Why? Because the project is built to be sustainable. Those taxes keep you being able to use this package and receive that 1% every day. But right now, I have a ton of people who want to get in this. A ton of people said, yeah, it checks out. I'm ready to go. And they haven't gone yet. And that's okay. I'm not in it. I don't need the people to join for me to be successful. I'm happy. It, I'll just chuck away real slow at this and, and grow as I grow. As you can see from my numbers here, I'm one of the absolute smallest people, smallest accounts 
that you're going to see me making videos on YouTube about drip. I was going to say recruiting for drip, but I'm not recruiting. Again, I do leave my referral code in the thing, and I'd love to have you on my team, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm making this video because I'm frustrated that everybody in the world isn't on this. It doesn't make sense to not be on it, to not even try it. If I look at my watch list, look at everything over here on the side. Down, it's all pointing down, it's all pointing down. It's all, whoa, wait, what's that one that's kind of leveled off and even looks like it's pointing up? Wouldn't you know it? It's drip. That's what I mean, man. It does not worry about when everything's pointing down. All of these are pointing down. The one that's kind of leveled off and actually pointing up is drip. This is how, this is what I mean, man. It's stable. I hope you get, uh, I hope you decide to come and take a look at this. I'd love for you to join my squad. It's exciting. It's, um, it's stable as hell. Like it keeps coming through. And I just took, like, I haven't even made anything since the last video, really, because I wanted to just take some out and just to make sure that it works. So I'm still like kind of around 12 drip, about the same as I was before. But that's because for the past week, I've been letting my little available build and I claimed it. So, you know, that's why my claims are up. But this is about the same. And now I'm just going to build it again and I'll start to hydrate it again after that. But I'm excited about this package and I don't understand why people aren't with it. And you have BNB on your Binance Smart Chain on your MetaMask and then you're ready to rock. Then you come in and it's as simple as go to swap and you say, how many of these BNB do I want to put in? One, two, five, ten, buy them. Boom, it's done. And then you go to faucet and you say, how many of these drip that I just bought with my BNB do I want? Boom, or max and hit deposit. That's it. Two fields, two buttons, you're off and running. Get in drip, guys. Get involved in this thing before it blows up. Drip's only $132 right now. This thing might be $1,000, $1,500 a coin pretty soon when it gets hot again. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you stuck around. If you didn't, I understand. I can get a little long winded. But take care of yourself. Enjoy your weekend. Come drip with me. <laughs> throw that in and I hope you make some money out there